Roseville Hill. I own Wild Bill's Tattoo, downtown Roseville. I believe we've been here 48 years. We're one of the oldest businesses in downtown Roseville here. I saw a gentleman that had a tattoo, and uh, the next day I started tattooing on the neighborhood kids. I was about 14. I think all the neighborhood mothers uh, probably were a little upset with me. Also, I worked uh, as a cover photographer for Skin Art Magazine, Tattoo Magazine, In the Wind, Street Chopper, Thunder Roads, the list goes on. I've probably done 52 covers. I, I traveled around with White Zombie and uh, did magazine stories about them and also Mike Ness and Social Distortion. I've been getting tattoos for a long time. Ed Hardy, <clears throat> which you might recognize his name from all the products that are out with Ed Hardy's name on it, did the majority of my tattoos. I've got a full body suit now. I'll never tattoo my neck or my hands. I like the way it cuts off. It kind of looks like clothing. Uh, we did tattoo on probably eight or nine of the Sacramento Kings. Uh, Chris Weber was the first one to come in and get tattooed. And then Jason Williams, uh, Scott Pollard, Bobby Jackson, and uh, Asia and his wife have been in. Well, every February, the last Saturday in February, we hold a tattoo-a-thon. I think we're on our 19th year or something like that. And uh, each year we raise between fifteen and $17,000. All the proceeds, including your tips, go towards a hospital. And it's a lot of fun, it's a lot of work. But uh, we're, we'll be holding it this February, the last Saturday in February. And a lot of people don't like my rules and regulations, but I'm concerned about our clientele. Some 20 year old comes in here and wants his throat or his face tattooed, or even his hands. I, I take the time to talk to him and find out if that's really the best thing for him. Because there's a lot of times you don't want your tattoos to show. People do still have prejudice against them, whether they know it or not. Lately, I've been uh, rebuilding motorcycles. I like the unusual. I, I don't have any normal vehicles. And I, I think we have like 15 or 18 cars uh, that we take to shows and stuff. It's really neat to be able to draw some up, some up on paper and see it come to life. It's an art form that somebody carries with them forever.